How's it going guys? It's Poetry Settle. Welcome back to the episode of the European Resource 4 Persia campaign, where we are preparing for war with the Ottomans. We have about five years left to do so. Um, so, I mean, we don't really need to uh, worry too much right now, and I, I don't think they're going to declare on me, certainly not, almost certainly not. And we do have a marriage with them, so unless they break that, unless we really piss them off and they break it or we break it. Actually, I think, well, we have diplomatic ideas. I think we could actually break it, maybe. Um, here, I didn't, yeah, let's do it. All right. Um, could we? We could, we could break it, actually. We should break our royal marriage. No reason to keep it. Um, yeah, I think this will be, this will be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're gonna start hating us here. Yeah, look at that. Broke road marriage. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah, break that road marriage. Yeah. That's funny, though. They would actually still take a marriage again. It's weird. Uh, anyways, yeah. Do we have a spy network guy? No, I'm not gonna bother changing either. So good for rep guys helping with our <laughs> our vassals, keeping them in check, you know. Um, let's hold off on that. I'm doing fine in all points categories now. We have land we could stay up. We do. Should we? What are we at? Yeah, I think we should. We we could spare some for at least like Kashmir. It's, it's all right for trade, you know. It's decent land. Um. Bahrain, we might as well. Let's do it. Sinsagar, not sure about that one, but it's Punjabi and we've already promoted that culture, so let's get our minds worth out of it. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, let's just get our money. Yeah, we have extra admin, might as well spend it. Although we're gonna obviously be needing a lot when we go to war with the Ottomans. What do we even want to take in this first war, right? That's a that's a good question. Well, well, we already passed the age where getting your culture group um, united is a thing. So, not gonna worry about that. Um, so, we already have our golden era, but it's still good to have stuff here. Like, uh, hmm. five primitive cultures. You could probably get this after this one, after this next war. I'm not gonna do these ones, they're just not really worth it. But, uh, let's see. Um, here's what we should do we have a little money now. Upgrade our forts, so cars definitely needs to get upgraded. Um, I'm not gonna upgrade these forts because they're all none of them are defensive at all. So um, let's do the one here. It's marsh. It's not like super great defensive terrain, but it is it is defensive. The one up here, also one that they could reach fairly easily if they go around. Um, a mole might be a good one to do, and Ardacon. I'm not sure. I think let's hold off. Um, hold off for now. Having Austria as the Emperor is actually fairly good for us. Probably won't matter too, too much, but it's, it's alright. That's a bad general. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we already, we obviously have too many relations, but that's fine. We're only, we're, we're two over? Yeah. Yeah, mostly, I mean, obviously, our vassals is the majority of that. But <laughs> Kiev should be able to handle these guys, so I'm going to let them. And yeah, we'll do this once we are about to peace out with the Ottomans. What are we gonna take? That's the, that's the question here. I you know maybe I should have taken Moldavia just so I could fabricate on Constantinople. Yeah, now that I'm looking, I'm like probably would have been a good idea. That's unfortunate that I didn't. Um, we have no lack of things to fabricate on. <laughs> I think the idea is gonna be the northern coast on the Black Sea, right? Um. Their northern coast against the Black Sea, not. Well, I mean, actually, this stuff too would be good, but culture wise, Kurdish land, we almost certainly want to take, but I don't think any of that is really worth fabricating on. None of it's super high development, none of it is even higher than 10 that we border. Um, so I think instead we focus on the, on the northern coast, the, the stuff in. Well. I mean, trade-wise. So eventually, we are, I think the plan is eventually we want to move our trade capital to Constantinople. 
Um, but first we need to get Constantinople and Aleppo ready for that. So, you know, I think basically just everything that we can on the northern coast here, and then whatever else we can in the Holy Land. I also, if possible, would love to take our way down to Mecca. It, it won't be, it'll be like very easy to do that, to border Medina, who doesn't own Medina, by the way, but owns Mecca. Um, and then I would like to take Jerusalem as well. I don't know if we'll be able to do all that, but we're only a couple provinces away in all those areas. So it's, it's feasible. It's feasible. So we're going to probably just take a mess of border gore provinces all over the place, but I think it's, it's fine. Yeah, Kiev is strong enough to handle their own vassals now. It's, a, it's an important step for a vassal to take. <laughs> um, and ministry efficiency, certainly. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but uh, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I don't think either of these is worth upgrading. Um, we should we should keep upgrading more. The ones that are over here are going to be most relevant. I think that's fine. All right, cool. How much are we month? Sixty? Not bad. We've had higher, but I think that's when we're at war and we occupy a bunch of land. We kind of, you know, you get a little bit of money. Oh, and we're spending on knowledge sharing. Forgot about that. What does knowledge sharing do? It's like in your capital area you get uh, a bonus or something. Might as, well, might as well speed it up even further. I mean, maybe we should just take it now, but I... Well, how, many, how long do we have? We have two years? Year and a half. Okay, we're getting we're getting closer and closer. Um, no, here's what we should do. We shouldn't, you know, we should develop. Uh, it'll it'll help. Getting more manpower is gonna certainly be something we could take advantage of. This is really where where I wish you could have multiple spies um, doing spy network stuff in the same country at the same time, and that way you really start to. You grow it really quickly, but it takes up all your diplomats. It takes up more diplomats. I think it's worth it, right? Maybe there's like a diminishing returns thing, but I think so, I still think it'll be fine. Look at this. We get a free claim. So here's what we do. Here's what we do. Before you take the claim, you you grab claims on other stuff. So, Castamonu, Synop, and let me go. You got stability, and we get another claim. Beautiful. Oh no, I should have done Trepazon. That's fine. Should be able to get at least one more. Again, at this point in the game, it's like, the claims are not going to be too bad, because like, we have so much happening. We're about to take tech, so it's not completely accurate, but... Hmm, let's try to get the Merchant Guild happy. That'll also help our income. Give them a few things, so they're just scattered around. It's actually a good idea anyways, honestly. Push more trade out from here. Well, how much of a difference does that make? Eh, not much. Oh, another thing I should do is build up trade centers. I haven't been upgrading trade centers at all, and that's uh, normally fairly fairly good to do. Especially in nodes where we are trying to, to make a difference and like get you know, more of a significant bonus. Yeah, like that made a big difference. Wow. Um, we could upgrade them for a vassal too. We might as well. Alright, cool. We'll keep doing that later, but <laughs> for now. We have exactly a year. Let's raise up the maintenance now. No, oh, I was supposed to be saving money. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah, let's uh, let's wait till the end of this year. Let's yearly tick, and then we'll then we'll take the tech and everything. So, question is also right now. Obviously, we're not gonna go right now. Yeah, we could we could get everyone very easily. We're gonna promise Austria and Aragon land, and I, I don't know, I'll probably not give Aragon land, maybe just backstab him after this. 
But Austria, I'll give some land, probably. No, you fools. You fools. You fools, Balmonis. You know, we're gonna we're gonna accept, obviously, but uh, it's annoying. Let's see, who are you over with here? It's just it's a few people, right? Yeah, it's not bad. This should this war should be actually over very quickly, especially if I help. So, what is our plan of attack for the the opening phase of the war? Well, I was kind of considering maybe we take two armies on this side, two armies on this side. No, I think we keep all four on this side. Ready to bum rush in to all these forts here. Mm -hmm. If we don't declare right away, it's fine. I think we can probably afford to. I should have checked first. Yeah, no, it was good. Hmm. Hmm. a good general. She's really good. Wow. I think this is probably our worst general. Yeah, no siege and only all right comment. Yeah. Yeah, this war should actually be over really quickly. Oh, your Khan is in it though. But also Ming is in it on our side. <laughs> yeah, never mind. This <laughs> is gonna be easy. Well, yeah, and eventually I, I want to backstab Balmanis as well. The Ottomans are more of a pressing issue. Seeing as that's what the whole campaign is for. <laughs> you know, that's that's one thing. Keep in mind. Truce is about to be up. There it is. Alright, we're going to embrace this. No new troop types, okay. Um, this war should be over very quickly. Absolutely want to take this merchant now. Get start making money from. I think this one's going to be beneficial. Let's see, what is our good? It's going to go up ninety right now. Wow, that's that's high. It's gone up even without me doing anything recently. 93. Well, actually, no, I did do something. I upgraded all our stuff. Well, he needs percent of hungry. Okay. Whatever. Um, beautiful. Free money. Why not? Alright, this army. We'll come back over here now. I hope they, I hope they peace out quickly, because I'm like... I don't know. I just don't want there to be... <laughs> I don't know, I just don't want them to, uh, I don't want to risk one of my other allies going to, to war. Yeah, it's fine though. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Come on, just peace out. Let's just watch Austria and Aragon, honestly, and if we see their armies starting to rise up, their maintenance, or their morale. Then we know. Right now they're drilling. I never drill troops, maybe I should do that since I have enough money. Yes, they rival me, good. Good, Ottomans, good. You should rival me. That's a lot of troops right there. Holy crap. Let's back away from the border very slowly. Very slowly back away. Right. Come on, just get out of this war, Bamanis. What are you doing?
What are you doing, Bohannis? Alright, we're fine. Another eyes are not moving. Oh, lordy. You have, like, all that you could want to take, right? Let's give them that. Maybe that's why they weren't. I doubt it. Yeah, it's just bad with piecing out. Come on, you fools. 100%. We have literally have 100%. We literally have 100%. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, there we go. Okay, we got 18 favors from that. Guess what? We're immediately going to do this and see. They won't, but here's what we can do. I don't even want, I don't want to pay off their debt, even though I can, and it will be fine. Just do that. And then they join. Yo. Oh. Might as well quibble address tuners. Wait, Delhi's in this? That's fine. Yo, that's good. Monus is actually gonna smack them. Um I don't wanna go to the Archon again, that's gonna be annoying. Um Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Yes, let's go. Tunis. Trebizond is gonna be the Orgle. Yay! What is the most important seed? Well, so I think it should be this one actually, because these are drylands ones. Even if we get attacked, I think we'll be we'll be relatively okay. Yeah, something like this. All right, let's see. I think this will work. Okay, so this is gonna be intense because uh, again, they have mothballed forts there. I could have actually rushed in there. Mm, it's okay. Alright, Austria and Aragon are in. This is gonna be an interesting war, boys. Buckle up. Austria should be just a punching bag for a while. Name nothing else. Um Yeah, let's let's see what we can do here. So I'm a little worried about there's like a big old 50 stack right there. And armies are spread out, and we don't want to do that long term, I don't think. Ooh. But uh, if we do that early on. Grab a few forts and then we start sticking in pairs of armies, right? So that they don't get a jump on us. We can reinforce and have a realistic chance of winning battles. Really, what's gonna help me know how this war will go is is how the first battle we get into goes. That's gonna be what, what tells me if this is gonna be a difficult war or an easy war. We have so many allies that that's gonna be, make it a lot easier just right off the bat. Doubtless. Um, yeah, once Bavana starts getting over here, that'll be nice, too. It's a big old army. Luckily, that big army went that way, so I think we're good here in Trebizond, for at least for a while. Beautiful, we got the war goal. And it's a mountain fort, by the way, so... Okay. Beautiful. Um, I do not care about Falazzi. Oh my god, that's where they went. I do not care about Falazzi and Separatists right now. That's a big old army, but they're going to be just suffering massive attrition in the steppe lands, you know? Yeah, Winter and Edict of Resistance, yo, Kiev, you're the best, man. They, they know how to do this. Bleed them dry, boys. And they know the strats. Okay, sticking pairs nearby. Yeah, Delhi's getting completely thrashed. <laughs> oh, poor Kiev is going to be a punching bag for us, and Ostrakhan after that. <laughs> and they haven't even started coming into my land yet, so that's good for me. Oh, hello. Okay, so this is what I was worried about. Here's where we'll really see how this is going to play out. Whose army is stronger? 
Okay, so immediately, we have a higher morale. They have slightly higher tactics. Okay. Because they have higher discipline. Yeah, makes sense. Um, but uh, discipline is fairly even. Enough where I don't think it will make a huge difference. The morale is big. Question is, what do they have as far as... Discipline and stuff? Huh. Their Janissaries are... Oh my god, they're gonna be... The reinforced cost for some Jaina series is like... Wait, what? Why? Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Fire, shot, and rally, uh, regiment. Strength? What does strength come from? Hmm. I think it just means the number that are still alive, yeah. Um, okay. I think this is gonna be alright. I think our quality is essentially fairly even with them. That's a mountain battle, and we just won it. We outnumbered them, sure, but like, still. I think that was alright. Certainly not bad. It's important to get that mountain forward, though, so let's do that. There we go, carpet siege. Let them just freaking attrition themselves to death over here. Yes, this is what I was hoping for. Aragon. Actually, I was thinking Osh would do it, but Aragon is just. Beating up the Netherlands. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's get Egypt first. Then we'll go over to Arabia. Oh, hello. That's gonna be an easy win. They actually just stack white themselves. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, going well so far. Aragon's Navy's gonna help out a lot. And that Navy, not particularly. <laughs> Oh my god, we're getting really lucky here. The Ottomans have wasted so many troops and are just sitting here. Alright, Netherlands has brought a thing here. Once we get those forts, though, we can get them out. And that'll be easy. I do have claims on these Delhi provinces still. I thought they expired, but never mind. No, the one on um, Punjar. Or Punjab. Punjar? <laughs> a Punjar. A jar of puns. No, the one on Punjab did, but no. The other one's fine. Alright. Beautiful. Oh, 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 the ostrich just stack wiped them on an army. That's beautiful. The Ottomans are so scary, don't get me wrong, but like, with this amount of allies and stuff, I think we're going to be absolutely fine. I'm going to split up here. I'm going to risk it. Mm, we're going to actually catch Pate's army. I think it's, it's probably Pate or something like that, but I call it Pate. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Take it. It's 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 claims. It's not that bad, anyways. I don't care as much about these. So let's just do ours. And the real benefit of this is that now, Bamana should come and start helping us in the west. Beautiful. And that's actually all we really wanted here from trade, except Punjab. Who's in a coalition against Balmanis? Okay, uh-oh. Hmm. Balmanis, what'd you do? What'd you do, man? Eh, yeah, plus whatever. Okay, never mind. That's fine. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh-oh, that turned out to be a bigger battle than I thought. I'm not going to win that one. Oh, let's go, though. I doubt we'll see a coalition. Well, let's try to improve with Bohemia just in case. That will help. Um, hmm. Again, Ostrakhan and Kiev are going to be the sacrificial lambs here. Mm hmm. Jeez, that's a big battle, but that's our good general. Let's 
Coalition is... It's going to be annoying, but I don't think it's really going to matter. So it's like Bohemia doesn't join. This is their only fort in Arabia. Let's, let's make sure we get it soon. Alright. Let's all occupy Austria because Austria has a has cores here, of course. Uh, that makes sense. Do I want to feed them cores? Probably not. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. What do we got here? Here's the question. They don't have any colonies, darn. I was going to be like... I wish I could get colonial land from them. Um, I'll honestly feed Austria province, why not? Ongoing battles, hold on. Where? Where in the world is an ongoing battle? Somewhere, I guess. Naval battle? Let's try now. It'll give us, uh, it won't even give Austria favors with me, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I guess I promised them land. Hopefully it counts for this. I don't think it does though, I don't think they count the ones they get in separate pieces for the, the overall ordeal. It's annoying, but anyways, um, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Break that freaking alliance first, and then do that. Alright, so that gets the, um, the Ottomans, no, I guess the Netherlands out. And that makes this war a lot easier already. The Netherlands had a decent amount of troops, and uh, certainly we're, we're posing some problems. And now Aragon will focus on the Ottomans too. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go wrap up this episode here, though. We went a little long time, but that's fine. This is gonna be a multiple episode video uh, war. So, thank you guys for watching. Please go and leave a like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.